help can come from unexpected places. Sometimes we need something, we want something, and we aren't quite sure how we're going to get it. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, there comes the help we need to get what we what we need or what we want. Um, it can be very unexpected. When we were making plans to move to Sulak out, it was 2003 or 2004. We were kind of looking for a house over here. And, and uh, Jim and Deanne Bradley were selling their house east of Sulak out. And so we uh, came over to see their house. We came over in, the af in an afternoon and and brought, uh, I brought Edith and Elaine and Dallas over to look at the house. Dallas was about eight years old. And uh, so we were um, uh, going to look at the house. And, and so I told them on the way over, I told the children, now listen, this isn't a social visit. Like these aren't friends of ours necessarily. We don't know these people really. Uh, I met them once or twice, but you know, we're not going there for a social visit. We're just going there to look at the house they're going to show us a house and then we're going to leave. And so, you know, they're not going to give us a snack. They're not going to give us any food or anything. So uh, don't be asking for food. Don't be hinting around that you want food. Don't be saying I'm hungry or, you know, anything like that, because this is not that kind of a visit. Uh, we're just looking at the house. Like, okay. So we got there and they took us through the house and, and they're showing us the house. And um, so we were getting pretty much through the, tour of the house and they had a, a bird in the corner of the living room in a cage and Dallas was standing there kind of looking at that bird and and um, then we came through the living room and he said hey that bird asked me if I want a snack and I thought now that is really creative I I, I don't I don't know like that, that's that's really creative and uh, so then uh, Dan just laughed and she said, actually, he did say that. That's one of the things that he says. And uh, but it worked for him because she got out a snack then and she got the bird and on the kitchen table and, and the bird liked to talk into a cup. He liked to stick his head inside of a cup because I guess it would echo and sound louder. And so the bird would stick his head inside the cup and he would say, praise the Lord. And he would add all kinds of phrases that he would say and. He would laugh just like Deanne laugh. He would copy her laugh, and and uh, he had other things that he would say. I don't remember what all he would say, but anyway, it worked. And help to get the snack came from a bird. Who would have thought that getting a snack would happen? Because a bird would ask, "Do you want a snack?" That was that was where his help came from.